Who killed Tupac and Biggie? I think both of these dudes were assassinated in some kind of way. More Biggie than Tupac. I think Tupac might have uh, got killed by a dude that they you know, had an incident with earlier that day. But Biggie's is, seems a little JFK. governmental. <laughs> In the labyrinthine world of hip-hop, whispers and conjectures abound regarding the alleged involvement of music mogul Diddy in the tragic demise of Tupac Shakur. Despite the fervent beliefs of seasoned veterans within the industry, concrete evidence remains elusive, leaving a haze of uncertainty surrounding the case. The narrative is further complicated by the testimony of Keith D, a witness whose credibility teeters on the brink, and Diddy's formidable fortress of wealth and influence, shielding him from the repercussions of speculation. This section serves as a prologue to the tangled web of allegations and intrigue that envelops the case, painting a picture of suspicion and doubt that has persisted for decades. It delves into the intricacies of the hip-hop community's collective memory, where whispers of concern conspiracy and betrayal mingle with admiration for Diddy's meteoric rise to success. Despite the absence of incontrovertible proof, the shadow of doubt looms large, casting a pall over Diddy's towering legacy and leaving the door ajar for revelations yet to come. The recent arrest of Keith D, a figure potentially linked to Tupac's murder, has reignited speculation and intrigue surrounding the case. As Keith D prepares for trial, the prosecution scrambles to gather evidence, hoping to pierce the veil of uncertainty that shrouds Tupac's untimely demise. Meanwhile, amidst the legal tumult, Diddy appears unfazed, continuing his work on a gospel album with Tayana Taylor, seemingly impervious to the storm brewing around him. This section explores the aftermath of Keith D's arrest, highlighting the frenetic activity within legal circles as prosecutors endeavor to unearth new leads and solidify their case. Against this backdrop, Diddy's nonchalant demeanor stands in stark contrast, reflecting the aura of invincibility cultivated by his wealth and influence. Yet, lurking beneath the surface lies a palpable tension, hinting at the possibility of seismic revelations that could reshape the narrative surrounding Tupac's death. The unexpected intersection of Tupac Shakur and Ice Cube marked a pivotal moment in Tupac's artistic evolution. Amidst whispers of Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's death, Ice Cube emerges as a guiding force in Tupac's life, offering mentorship during a crucial juncture in his career. This section delves into the significance of their bond, characterized by shared experiences and a mutual quest for artistic authenticity. Ice Cube's mentorship provided Tupac with invaluable guidance, empowering him to discover his voice and speak his truth with unwavering conviction. Through their connection, Tupac found solace and inspiration, navigating the tumultuous landscape of the music industry with newfound clarity and purpose. As Tupac's star continued to ascend, his reverence for Ice Cube remained unwavering, a testament to the enduring impact of their relationship on his life and legacy. Tupac Shakur's transition to Death Row Records marked a pivotal chapter in his career, catapulting him to unparalleled heights of fame and influence. Departing from his earlier affiliations, Tupac's alliance with Death Row symbolized a radical departure, both musically and culturally. This section explores Tupac's meteoric rise within the Death Row empire, illuminating the dynamics that shaped his iconic status in the hip-hop land Landscape. Upon joining Death Row, Tupac unleashed a torrent of creativity, releasing a string of groundbreaking albums that solidified his legacy as a cultural icon. His debut with the label All Eyes on Me shattered records as the first double disc solo hip hop album on CD, cementing his status as a global phenomenon. With over 75 million records sold worldwide, Tupac's impact transcended music, inspiring a generation with his unapologetic lyricism and raw authenticity. Within the Death Row fraternity, Tupac wielded immense influence, nurturing the talents of fellow artists artists like Snoop Dogg and shaping the label's distinctive sound. His mentorship of Snoop Dogg, in particular, exemplified his commitment to fostering creativity and individuality within the rap community. As Tupac's star continued to ascend, his symbiotic relationship with Death Row became synonymous with defiance and artistic freedom, solidifying his place in hip-hop history. Tupac's alliance with Death Row Records marked a profound transformation in his persona and lyrical content, as he embraced a more aggressive and confrontational style. This section delves into Tupac's evolution from a a politically charged lyricist to a formidable figure in the gangster rap scene, culminating in a bitter feud with the East Coast. Following his incarceration and subsequent release, Tupac's demeanor underwent a dramatic shift, mirroring the influences of Death Row's gangster ethos. Abandoning his earlier emphasis on social and political commentary, Tupac embraced themes of street life and retribution, channeling his experiences into gritty narratives of urban survival. The release of Hit 'Em Up, a scathing diss track aimed at rivals in the East Coast hip-hop scene, marked a watershed moment in Tupac's career. The song's venomous lyrics targeted prominent figures like the notorious Big and Sean Puff Daddy Combs, 
igniting a feud that would escalate tensions between the East and West Coast factions. Tupac's feud with the East Coast not only polarized the hip-hop community, but also intensified the already volatile atmosphere surrounding the genre. With each barb and retaliation, the divide between the two coasts deepened, culminating in tragic consequences that reverberated throughout the industry. Despite the controversy and turmoil surrounding his feud with the East Coast, Tupac remained steadfast in his commitment to authenticity and self-expression. His uncompromising stance and unapologetic lyrics solidified his status as a polarizing yet undeniably influential figure in the annals of hip-hop history. On the evening of September 7, 1996, Tupac was in Las Vegas attending the Mike Tyson vs. Bruce Seldon boxing match at the MGM Grand Hotel. Accompanied by Death Row Records CEO Marion Suji Knight, Tupac's presence at the high-profile event underscored his prominence in the hip-hop and entertainment spheres. Following the match, Tupac and Knight were en route to a nightclub when their black BMW came to a halt at a red light near the Vegas Strip. It was at this moment that tragedy struck, as an assailant in a white Cadillac pulled alongside their vehicle and opened fire. In the hail of bullets that ensued, Tupac sustained multiple gunshot wounds, critically injuring him. Despite being rushed to the hospital, Tupac succumbed to his injuries six days later, plunging the music world into mourning and leaving behind a void that would never be filled. The circumstances surrounding Tupac's murder have long been shrouded in mystery and speculation, with various theories and conjectures circulating in the years since his death. While some attribute the shooting to a gang-related feud or a botched robbery attempt, others suggest more sinister motives, including alleged involvement by rival figures within the music industry. Regardless of the myriad theories surrounding his murder, Tupac's legacy endures as a testament to his enduring impact on music, culture, and society at large. His tragic demise serves as a poignant reminder of the perils that often accompany fame and the enduring quest for justice in the face of senseless violence. The arrest of Keith D in connection with Tupac's murder has reignited interest in the case and raised questions about potential revelations regarding the events leading up to the iconic rapper's untimely demise. This section delves into the significance of Keith D's arrest the potential implications for those involved, and the ripple effects reverberating throughout the music industry. Keith D., a former affiliate of the Southside Crips and a central figure in the Tupac investigation, has garnered attention for his alleged involvement in the drive-by shooting that claimed Tupac's life. His recent arrest has brought renewed scrutiny to the case, with speculation mounting about the possibility of new evidence emerging and long-held secrets coming to light. As Keith D. awaits trial, prosecutors are eagerly seeking to capitalize on his insider knowledge and first-hand involvement in the events surrounding Tupac's murder. With the the prospect of Keith D potentially implicating high-profile figures in the music industry, including Sean Diddy Combs, anticipation mounts as to the potential ramifications of his testimony. The specter of Diddy's alleged involvement in Tupac's murder looms large, with Keith D's past statements and writings suggesting a possible connection between the two. As speculation swirls and rumors abound, the music world braces itself for the possibility of seismic revelations that could forever alter the narrative surrounding Tupac's tragic death. Amidst the uncertainty and speculation, one thing remains clear. Keith D's arrest has injected new energy into a case that has long captivated the public's imagination. Whether his testimony will provide long-awaited closure or open new avenues of inquiry, the repercussions of his arrest are sure to reverberate far beyond the confines of a courtroom, shaping the legacy of one of hip-hop's most enduring icons. The response from rapper 50 Cent and the subsequent social media reaction to Keith D's arrest and the potential implications for Diddy and others involved in Tupac's murder case provide a fascinating glimpse into the intersection of celebrity culture and criminal investigations. In this section, we explore 50 Cent's commentary and the wider online discourse surrounding these developments. As news of Keith D's arrest spread, it didn't take long for 50 Cent, known for his outspoken nature and penchant for stirring controversy, to weigh in on the matter. Taking to Instagram, 50 Cent wasted no time in sharing his thoughts, using his platform to speculate on the potential fallout from Keith D's revelations. In his Instagram post, 50 Cent made light of the situation, employing humor to underscore the gravity of the allegations facing Diddy and others implicated in Tupac's murder. By invoking the nickname Brother Love in reference to Diddy and alluding to the need for legal representation, 50 Cent injected a dose of levity into what is undeniably a serious and complex case. The image accompanying 50 Cent's post, a photograph of Tupac in the iconic black BMW from the night of his fatal shooting, served as a stark reminder of the violence that continues to cast a shadow over the hip-hop community. Through this imagery, 50 Cent underscored the enduring impact of Tupac's legacy and the ongoing quest for justice in his name. On social media platforms such as Instagram and Twitter, 50 Cent's posts sparked a flurry of reactions, with fans and observers alike weighing in on the implications of Keith D's arrest and the potential fallout for those implicated in Tupac's murder. Memes, hashtags, and heated debates proliferated, underscoring the enduring fascination with Tupac's life and legacy. Amidst the deluge of online comments,
commentary, one thing became abundantly clear. The intersection of celebrity, crime, and social media continues to captivate the public imagination, with each new development in the Tupac murder case serving as fodder for speculation, debate, and reflection on the enduring impact of one of hip-hop's most enduring mysteries. The notion of Diddy's perceived invincibility in the face of legal scrutiny and speculation on the potential legal implications of Keith D's revelations form a central theme in discussions surrounding the Tupac murder case. In this section, we delve into the dynamics of power, privilege, and the legal system's ability, or perceived inability, to hold influential figures to account. Despite mounting allegations and suspicions surrounding his involvement in Tupac's murder, Diddy has long cultivated an aura of invincibility, buoyed by his immense wealth, social status, and formidable legal resources. This perception of impunity has only been reinforced by Diddy's ability to navigate previous legal challenges unscathed, earning him a reputation as a master of evasion and manipulation within the music industry. However, Keith D's arrest and the potential for his testimony to implicate Diddy in Tupac's murder have reignited speculation about the mogul's vulnerability to legal repercussions. As details of Keith D's alleged involvement in the murder plot emerge, questions arise about whether Diddy's billion-dollar fortress of wealth and influence can withstand the weight of incriminating evidence and public scrutiny. Central to these discussions is the question of whether authorities possess sufficient evidence to make charges against Diddy Stick. Despite widespread suspicions and allegations, the burden of proof remains a formidable obstacle, particularly when dealing with a figure as well-connected and resourceful as Diddy. Past attempts to hold him accountable for alleged wrongdoing have often faltered in the face of legal maneuvering and the complexities of celebrity justice. Nevertheless, the convergence of Keith D's testimony, public scrutiny, and renewed interest in the Tupac murder case presents a unique opportunity for authorities to challenge Diddy's aura of invincibility and hold him accountable for any wrongdoing. Whether this will ultimately result in criminal charges, convictions, or further legal wrangling remains to be seen. But the prospect of Diddy facing consequences for his alleged role in Tupac's murder represents a compelling chapter in the ongoing saga of hip-hop's most enduring mysteries. The public response and social media speculation surrounding the allegations against Diddy and the revelations from Keith D's arrest offer a window into the broader cultural significance of the Tupac murder case and its impact on contemporary discussions of hip-hop culture, celebrity, and justice.